thank you for joining us today. In this session, we will be discussing creating rules for managing mail flow. This will take place in both the Exchange Control Panel as well as Forefront Online Protection for Exchange. In order to get here, please log into the Microsoft Online Portal with your administrative account and select Manage under the Exchange heading then select Mail Control and Rules. In order to create a new rule, and this all through ECP, not including PowerShell at this point, you select New to create the rule, and these are uh, transport rules. They are not FOP rules. You select the, uh, the trigger, for this, such as sender, recipient, uh, scope, subject, or body including different text, sender address, includes different parts. There are a lot of different options here. And then there's, there's the response, which is to forward, to BCC, to delete the message, appending a disclaimer. Uh, this is how you set internal well, uh, footers and disclaimers on email. Now, the control panel contains basic, and then if you select more options, you get advanced uh, options such as multiple conditions. And they're quite expansive. Uh, basically, it includes most of the options that you have for setting transport rules in a normal Exchange 2010 environment. And then you can have multiple responses as well. You name the rule and adding and add exceptions. The exceptions are only available in the additional options section. Let's say you want a sender that is uh, external sending to your users and you want it to be rejected and provide a rejection message. Select save, and then you now have a rule. Now you can set up details, you can set priority, and these will be priority of when the message is, or when the rule is affected. Uh, you can have multiple rules affect the same email, so this will, uh, change how things are applied, such as if you have multiple different disclaimers that need to be added in a specific order, you would need to make sure that the rules are set appropriately. Once you have FOP up, you can go to Policy Rules, which allows you to do the same thing, except this happens at the edge versus at the transport level. You can create a new policy rule. Uh, let's do the uh, pretty much the same thing. Set inbound rules. You can also set outbound rules. You can have the action to be allow, reject, quarantine, redirect, deliver with BCC, force TLS, and test. Uh, test is obviously for testing. Force TLS is only for outla outbound. And the others are, are a mix of both. Uh, reject and allow can both be Inbound and outbound, quarantine is inbound, redirect is inbound, deliver with BCC is inbound, force TLS is outbound only, and that is to force a TLS connection to the recipient server. Uh, if you do select force TLS, it, if the, res the receiving server does not accept TLS or fails TLS, the message will fail to send. So please make sure that that is only set for different 
environments that can support it. So in this case we will set the domain of gmail.com we will set the recipient and you can either apply the rule even if the email message includes other recipients and uh, you don't have the option to enable opportunistic TLS for unspecified recipients uh, that is an addition that can be used with the force TLS so you can also see that you can create rules based on whether there's an attachment whether the attachment matches certain things same with subject and body of the message uh, you can select exact match or normally it is a match within the uh, within the message or body and case sensitivity can be flagged as well uh, you also have the option of message properties including executable content class ID extensions partial message flags uh, the difference in recipients, max size, etc, etc. Uh, there's a lot of different options that you can set. In this case, it's going to be very simple. Hit save policy. As it says, the inbound message policy rule does not support matching on recipient domains. So, in this case, we will just remove the domain match part. And so now any email that matches gmail.com, I can reject. I now save this and we now have policy rules. Uh, one thing to definitely understand is that you can also scope this per domain and that is actually how you set the uh, recipient domain. All right, that is the basis for rules creation. Uh, we will get into further examples in a later video. Have a great day, and thank you for attending.